Recently, I did a trim video where I showed my style of trimming, which is pretty much taking off the length and transparency on the bottom and not digging into the beard with clippers. A common question and comment that was left on that video is, well, your sides look nice and tight and kind of shorter up here. What do you do to address that? Because my sides get poofy, they get wavy, they get crazy, which let me say is exactly why I encourage you guys to leave questions, to leave comments on videos, because it leads to new videos. It leads to new content. I don't know if I would have thought of this video without you guys leaving those comments. So I made a video. I'm going to film what I do for that process. This is actually the after right now. I'll show you guys the whole little video montage, then I'll come back Back and break it down again afterwards but hey friends family beardsmen thank you for checking out this video if you're new look at some of the other videos see if it fits your taste consider subscribing if you do like it if this is a returning video if you have watched several of my videos and found them helpful at all to your beard your life your free time whatever it may be please subscribe that would mean a lot to me i know a lot of times it shows up on the recommendations or you're searching things that little one free click makes a big difference on this channel okay so i'm going to show you guys the video clip of what i do with a comb scissors and a trimmer and then afterwards i'll break it down what you really saw the steps and all that Pretty easy, pretty clean, right? I think so. Now I wanna start out with one really important point. There is a spot where your head hair ends and your beard hair begins or vice versa, whichever direction you're looking at there. And for me, it's pretty simple and usually the case for most guys, that bottom opening of your ear, just go straight over and that's gonna be the line between your beard and your head hair. For me, it's really clear. My head hair is thin and straight. My beard hairs are thicker. They've got some texture, some waves to them, and you can feel it. You can see the difference. Now, I know that's not the same for everybody out there, but a lot of guys, it's pretty darn clear or just go with that as a general rule. And the reason why I bring that up is because in that trim video I did, everybody was asking me about the sides and what I do because they look clean. For me, Everything around my ear that I did that I touched in this video is my head hair. It was not trimming my beard. You may think otherwise and that's okay, but I do wanna throw that out there. I don't consider what I did today a beard trim. So what did I do? Very, very simple. I simply comb and folded my hair over towards my face. Kind of use it like a backboard and you'll see the body. Your beard will tell you where the strength is. Your head hair will tell you where your strength is or where it's not, right? Sometimes you don't know you need to shave your head until it's too late, that, that's a whole different video. But I folded over to the side here, and then when you saw in the video, I had little parts that were sticking out, I just simply take scissors or shears, whatever you wanna call them, and then clip, clip, get rid of them, done. Do that on both sides, that leaves it at a length and a thickness and an appearance that I'm really comfortable with, and I've done this for years now. Now the rest of it was just cleaning up the neckline. I think that's a spot that a lot of guys forget unless they go to a barber and get a clean up at the, at the barber salon haircut place. I'm just blanking right now when I'm talking. But you take the trimmer and you just go down the neck. Just be really careful. You don't want to clip into the beard. If you notice I grabbed the hairs and I pushed them to the side, what that does is puts a little tension there and kind of shows you the spot and gets all this out of the way. So that is how I keep my sides, the hair around my ears, nice and clean. Question for you guys, please, do you have any questions? Leave it down below. Do you have any thoughts? Drop them down below. And equally as important, is there something that you do differently that may help somebody else out there? Because everybody's style is a little bit different. Everybody's preference is a little bit different. Everybody's technique is a little bit different. And I would love to hear from you guys. So thank you for watching today. Dan C. Bearded, if you haven't hit the thumbs up on the video, please consider you made it this far. I hope you liked it. Stay bearded and stay positive.